Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting show of Masim Dumisa Gospel Show. It is season four, like you've never seen it before. It is life destiny, your life, your destiny. And joining Mumakuzoyo, it is myself, Uti Makatawagas Tolle, and Ombiwa Jobe, Omajane. And well, you know, you're probably wondering, Giovanni Samakai Guti, yes, you these ladies that are always in front of our TV screens, always talking to us, can they even sing at all? Well, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Si peti nda mafoni na sinenda ba londe yazin nangiti audition na gizo audition na la la real seven I hope you are watching I'm sampe abohash you know so I can be like that third voice are you ready for me go for it are you ready praise the Lord all right blessed assurance Jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine Hallelujah. Hey, I know yeah. so up. So <laughs> bang, I hope it is just seven news really. What do you think, Lance? No, that was amazing. Do I have a chance? Do I stand a chance? Yeah. <laughs> but fine, no, no, I'm no musician at all, but I definitely love music and I love those that can render the music and the art thereof. What I'm trying to tell you with this song actually is that we need to remember that blessed yeah. assurance. Amen. That's Jesus true. is mine. He is indeed. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. This is my story. This is my song. Oh. And I actually bring a question to you at home and asking you, Guti, you know, what is your story? And how do you get to tell your story? Well, here at Masam Dumise, on a weekly basis, we get to see musicians, you know, give the people who come and tell their stories through music and through song. If you wish to connect with us again on our social media platforms, don't forget to find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And our handle is at Masim Dumise Gospel Show. Indeed, indeed. And on that note of having really amazing guests coming to our studio to sing and praise the Lord yeah. on a weekly basis, uh -huh. we're actually going to be joined by two great solo artists who reside currently in Gauteng, Johannesburg. The first one is the one and only Joshua Tele, who originally comes from Eastern Cape, and he's going to be blessing us with some items and telling us more about his journey. Second of all, we're going to be joined by the amazing, amazing gentleman who goes by the name of well, he is amazing and he's a young man, quite talented and gifted. And he goes by the name of Umfundo Mkize, all the way from Gauteng, Sowe to Orlando East. Well, right now, sit down, relax and enjoy while he blesses us with a special, beautiful item. I would love to tell you what I think of Jesus Since I found in him a friend So strong and true I would tell you How he changed my life completely He did something That no other friend could do No one never cared for me like Jesus there's no other friend so kind as he no one else could take the sin and darkness from me oh how much he cared for me oh my Life was full of sin when Jesus found me. Oh, my heart was full of misery and woe. Jesus placed his strong and loving arms around me. And he led me in the way I ought to go. No one ever cared for me like Jesus There's no other friend so strong as he No one else could take the sin and darkness from me Oh, how much he cared for me His 
words of love But I'll never know just why he came to save me Till someday I see his blessed face above No one ever cared for me like Jesus there's no other friend so kind as he No one else could take the sin and darkness from me Oh, how much he cared for me Oh, how much he cared for me she cared for me Joining me on set right now is a young gentleman who goes by the name of Mfundo Mkize. He comes all the way from Orlando East and has been a solo artist as of 2016. Mfundo, sir, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you, man? I'm great, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for taking the time to joining us this evening. You're super excited about it. Yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> awesome. So, Mfundo... I love your music, by the way. Oh, thank you. Very solemn, very, you know, that old-time religion, I would say. Um, very uplifting. I want to know something. You are aware of what our topic is for this evening, right? Yes. It's simply about destroying your fears, right? Mm -hmm. Overcoming your fears with God. I want to know something. Have you mm -hmm. ever in your life come across a fear or faced any fears? And if yes, how have you overcome them? Oh, well... You know, I've faced many things in my life, but uh, the greatest challenge or the greatest fear I've had was the fear of failure, you know, sure. um, failing to to impress some people, failing mm. to succeed, failing to, to be the best. Mm. So I've managed to deal with um, that fear by um, realizing that, you know, I'm running my own race. This is my yes. own life. I have my own set um, path mm. before me. So I need to okay. know it. My life won't go as smoothly as some other of some other people in, in Pilanabo, you know. Mm. So I've discovered which you know, let me just stop trying to fit in and yeah. try and be myself. Yeah. You know, and um since I've de decided to do that, my life has been so simple and so smooth since then. Mm. Yeah. I love that. I love that. The fear of failure is something that we all come across, you know, and, and it's just so beautiful that you actually can even face it, you know, because many people actually don't even admit it, you know. But I want to know something. In, in an industry like this, I can presume that you face a lot of competition and comparison. Yeah. And people will say, oh, no, Mfundo, ah, I got to school, a lawyer, you know? <laughs> or he doesn't sing as great as the, you know, the likes of this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. How then do you deal with that when people compare you continuously? And if you don't do well, we'll always say, you see, exactly, he's trying so hard to be like this person. How do you deal with that? Uh, you know, I don't pay attention to being compared mm. to anyone. Because yeah. as I've told you, I've decided to, to be my own person. Sure. I don't imitate anyone. Mm. I just look up to certain people and I learn from them. Mm. And I do my own thing from that. Mm. It's like I, I take a snippet here, I take a snippet there. Sure. And then I put it together and I see how can I best use this mm. in my own life and how can it work for me. If it doesn't work for me, I move on. Okay. But I'm still my own person. Yes. Yeah. You yourself, you're your brand, and you're okay with being an individual. Yes. So that's the best thing you can be if you're going to be a solo artist. Yes. Awesome. Definitely. I like that. So, Mfundo, I know that you've been singing for years now, yeah. right? Even yes. though 2016, if I'm not mistaken, yes. you started being a solo artist. Yes. You've been singing all these years, been singing for groups. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to become a solo artist? You know, um, it's actually a funny story. Let me answer you like this. Okay. For me to, to start 
being a singer who's mm. noticed. Yes. I used to always sing alone when I'm at home, when I'm um, doing the dishes, when I'm doing my homework or whatever. Mm. I was always that guy who was always constantly singing and causing a racket at home. But I didn't In the shower, it's you. Everywhere. It's like, hey, when everywhere, like, hey, you're from him, <laughs> you know. But yes. this uh. time, the, the, there was an elderly man by the name of Simon Gomo from my church, Orlando East. Okay. He said, you have a, a beautiful voice. You must come and join us for practice. He had ah. a, a four-part quartet, male voice. I was like, ah. Me and I sing with old men. I, this old man is I'm kidding. Too, me. I'm too young, man. No, I thought he was kidding. Yeah. But he was serious. He mm. asked me to come. Okay. Fine, I joined them. And funny enough, the songs they were singing are the songs I grew up listening to, you know, Your King's Heralds, yes. Your Faithful Today, Your Breath of Life, you know, yes. those very old songs, you know. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'm liking this, but I don't know why I'm here. Mm. But he's the one who actually inspired me because he's also a soloist. Yes. So he inspired me to say, as a musician, if you want to make it, you can't be clinging onto one thing. For example, this... Um, bridge out. Yes, you must bridge out. Sure. This setup of being in a group, mm. it's fine, it's good, but if you can't do anything on your own, if you can't mm. excel on your own, you can't expect to make it in a group. So imagine we have four people in a group, none of them are able to push and progress on themselves okay. music, music wise. It in that so way. you see, that's ah. how I saw it. Okay, fine. If I'm part of a group, if mm. on my own... I'm not able to to be independent and do my own thing, then I'm not going to be comfortable and I'm, I'm not going to be productive in the group. Mm. So that's the reason why I decided to become a soloist, develop my own self first, oh, so that when I mix with other people, then there's no need to dwell upon the same thing. And, you know, so I, I think it's easier for me now to progress because I can, I, I can okay. go from mixed voice to male voice without any problems because now on my own I know that I'm able to to handle this. Not that I'm putting myself on the pedestal, but it has helped me to to be able to to sing with all those groups I've been singing with. Yes. And even currently it has helped me a lot. I, I really love what you're saying because I've always really believed that the reason why people bridge out from being in a group and being a soloist is because they feel like I don't want to be in a group. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a solo artist because I'm better now. You know, or I'm, I've always been the lead singer, so I'm good alone. But I like the way you're saying it. It's more of like developing yourself into building your craft. Yes. And then when you are okay as an individual, you then are able to be more impactful in, in a group setup. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love, I love that. So on that note, um, I'm guessing it's, there's a big change now, right? Mm -hmm. So when you've been in the group, there's so many people, you, yeah. we've got many heads thinking together. Okay. And, and now when you're an individual, won't get bigger win. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. in terms of the composing, the instruments, the feel, the lyrics, everything is you. Mm -hmm. What difference is that for yourself? How have you experienced it? Has it been easy? Has it been hard? And how do you just work around it? You know, mm. it's easy to hide. You know, like you have yes, four people singing ten. You know, ah, you know, uh, <laughs> no pressure. I'll just, I'll just mime <laughs> there. You know, but yeah. when you're alone, mm. you realize, Guti, you have to cover up for all the other parts that would have been there sure. if you were, you were four or whatever. Mm. So as a soloist, ish, the backing tracks, the lyrics, the the projection, the Diction, you need to make sure with everything Even diction, sir. is on point. <laughs> you, you know, it's it's not mm. easy, but you learn to to be able to perfect it over time mm -hmm. as you do it. Yeah. So, who do you go to to check the quality of your your work? I, I actually have a uh, few people around my circle. Okay. I have some friends. Mm. I have family members who are like, I do. Ah, we are better. You know, they're not. Who like, honest ah, with you? You know, they're very honest. I'm like, ah, but it's good because. Mm. Now I know which they they want the best for me. Yes. You know, so I, I take their criticism, which you know, there's room to improve. Constructive criticism. It's constructive criticism. Sure. So I appreciate that. Even my manager, he he doesn't beat about the push, he's like yeah. you mm. know. And it, it helps me a lot to realize which he, you can never actually say you've arrived. There's always room to learn yes, and grow always, and perfect yes. your craft. Yes. True. Much better than I was last year. And I, I thank awesome. God for that because now it's not like I've arrived, but I want to keep mm. on learning and keep on improving. Yes. That's the way it is. Yeah. Just quickly about the genre that you want to, you know, jump into. Which what genre are you doing? Mm. And which audience are you looking to, you know, for example, entertain or perform your craft to? 
Well, currently, the, the music I sing, mm -hmm. it's music that is mostly appealing to, 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 to adults. Mostly, okay. currently, you know, and the youth, uh, not so much because it's not so vibey mm. and, you know, but... Um, it's very mature. Yes, it's very mature, very, you can yeah, put yeah. it like that. But I want to cater also for, for the youth and also for Definitely. for different races because some people get offended that. because I sing mostly in English. They're like, dude, I'm <laughs> so I, I want to also yeah. do that and accommodate everyone. Mm. And I want to make sure that you probably in the next five years, mm -hmm. I, 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 I at least have people I'm mentoring. You know, Love so that, that I can see you with him. Yes. What I've been, wow. what I've been learning all, all along is working for me, mm. and is I'm giving back to to the community and helping other people Beautiful. to get to where where Beautiful. I am. Yeah. Awesome. May God bless you in that. Thank you very One much. One last thing. Someone out there who's just like Umfundo has the passion, loves what they do, want to work for God and push this ministry, right? But they still knew they're an upcoming artist, okay, or soloist. What words of inspiration would you like to say to them? You know, I won't lie. There's people who are going to, to say, I, ah, you're wasting your time. There's people who mm. won't listen to you. There's people who are going to say, I'll tell you pants, man, you know, mm. but if you are serious and you love something, if you don't put the effort and the time and the energy, and there's something so, it seems simple and yeah. useless, is to do some vocal exercises and um, learning music like Angyat Pella. Most people take that for granted, but it really helps people to get to where they are. The famous musicians, to, to, for them to get to where they are, mm. they had to exercise and train hard and be, re, and be yes, in the pants, but you're wasting your time. Mm. But the effort and the time and the criticism is yes. what made them to be who they are. So I'd say they must expect the worst. Expect the worst. They expect the worst, but they must make sure, sure. Which they put their best effort and make sure which they enjoy and love what they do. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Mfundo. That was really amazing. I love that. So, Nizwelegela Pamakaya, Mfundo simply says, expect the worst. And if you want to do this ministry, overcome it, practice your craft and work on it on a daily. Here's more music from Fundo. Be blessed. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you. 
feel discouraged and why should the shadows come why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven is my portion a constant friend is he for his eyes on the sparrow and I know he watches His eyes on the little sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I say because I'm free His eyes on the sparrow And I know He watches me His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches, I know he watches, I know he watches. Because I'm happy Oh, I say Because I'm free yeah, His eyes on the sparrow And I know you watch it His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I know he watches. I know he watches me.
we shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we go. In a little while. In a little while we shall cross the billows flow. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we go In a little while In a little while We shall cross the billows foam We shall meet at last When the stormy winds are past In a little while we go Well, good evening and welcome back to your very favorite music show on TV and that is Massim Dumise on Life Destiny TV. Well, tonight I have a guest with me, a very popular guest, if I can say. He's one of the most humble, very well-talented singers in the music industry. This young man has been around this industry for over two decades, if I can say that to you. He has released over uh, four albums. He's now sitting on an album called 96. That is none other than O Josh Ele. Molo Budwa Munja Namplanj. Yes, Kona Siskujan. Dikhen, I mean, because I must say, it is a pleasure and honor for me personally to actually have this uh, pleasure to sit and just chit chat with you. I'm hoping that the audience at home would be just as excited as I am. I hope so too. Well, Josh, um, as you know, the theme of our season this season is uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. And this week we are focusing on destroying our fears. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Now, when you've been around for over two decades, like <laughs> I mentioned, uh, yeah. tell me, what were your fears when you started out, you know, um, and now later in, later in, in two years, in two decades time, do you still, you know, have fears when you're about to perform or, you know, are, are you still troubled by fears, if I can ask that? Well, um, yeah, maybe I should start by thanking you guys for inviting me. It's our pleasure. Um, it's always a, <laughs> a, a great time to, to sit here and talk about my story. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I started singing um, in male chorales and quartets back in 1996. Um, was it 96 or 97? Okay, yeah. It must have been early 97 when I was roped in. Okay. Um, so, so, so obviously... Uh, I started singing for 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 the for the male chorale, mm -hmm. singing first ten of the for a couple of years up until the guys decided that I was ready to lead uh, a few songs, so okay. they would throw in a solo there mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So obviously, before you 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 stand in front of people and sing, you know whatever solo they would have given you, uh, you'd always have that fear, you know that that. Um, that that's what Nerves. you call, you know, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, but my experience has um, has been that. You, you gotta have a bit of that as a musician, especially when you when you're singing gospel music. Okay. Because if you don't, then you're gonna stop relying on God. Hey. You see. Mm -hmm. So 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 yes, I I do get those moments even now. You know, I, I mean, I've done audiences of about four thousand five hundred women, hmm. and you still get nervous because you don't know whether these people will embrace the music mm. or they will embrace you as a person. Mm. Because sometimes we can be barriers. You know, where people would, would not engage, you know, embrace the music because they have issues mm -hmm. with you and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But, but I think God has been the one who has given me strength whenever I felt that way. Beautiful. Now, Josh, like I alluded earlier, that you have been around for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> I would call you an established singer. Um, as an established singer or musician that you are, do you ever consider, or what are your thoughts around working with, um, you know, the upcoming singers, you know, upcoming soloists that wish to take the direction that you have taken? Are you open to that? Are you open to mentoring young people and guiding them as well in this journey? Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I my, my understanding of what you're saying by upcoming artists, uh, you're probably referring to to people who have not recorded CDs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, 
Yeah, I'm open to the idea. Actually, not long ago, I think it was uh, 2018, mm-hmm. um, uh, February, we actually worked on a project where we recorded a live, you know, DVD. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and the guys who were my, my backing vocalist at the event Beautiful. do not have CDs, wow. you know. Mm. Um, but they are very talented, mm-hmm. you know, and we were able to feature them there and we gave them solos and stuff like that. So, so, so I've always been, you know, uh, uh, open to that idea because even myself, I was given, you know, a chance by other people exactly. who, who were obviously veterans exactly. in the space within the, within the movement. Beautiful. That is lovely to hear. Now, now that you're talking about the fact that you've worked with young people, you 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 know you worked with young talent. Um, do you do you work or rather do you minister? You know to to communities outside. You know the the uh, Adventist community. Do you consider you know being outside the church, on, or do you just focus on? I need to sing to you know those that are of like mind as myself. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do. I, I, uh, listen, I'm, I'm employed by, by a company, which I'm not going to name here. Of course. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in an IT space. Okay. And, uh, and, and part of what I've, I've had to do, uh, for, for, for that company was to, to sing at their events. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and I've already been featured at about 25 uh, you know, events, wow. um, uh, doing both, um, uh, gospel music and a bit of jazz. So, so, so I have taken my music to to an audience outside uh, the familiar audience. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it's, it's it's been it's been it's been uh, it's been a wonderful time. I mean, the concerts that we do, uh-huh. we, we 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 will have half of the people who are not even churched sometimes, you know, but they were invited by somebody to come over to listen to the music, and um, and 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 the feedback we get at the end is that. Uh, this is quite different, you know, when is mm-hmm. it coming into the mm-hmm. mainstream and stuff like that, which is what okay, we're obviously still working on. Um, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. That's powerful. That's really powerful. Now, yeah. tell me, with your music, mm. do, you, um, do you write your own music or, you know, other songs that you have, you know, self-composed or, you know, do you take them from somewhere and then just create your own vibe into those songs? I see. <laughs> um, okay, I've, I've, I've done both. Okay. Um, I've, 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 I've sang from the hymn book. Um, I've sang from local composers. I've mm-hmm. used their material. For instance, there's a song I do called Magabongo. Okay. And that song was written by Dan Input, one of the founders of uh, the Emmanuel Group uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Ministries. Mm-hmm. Um, I've also penned some songs. Okay. Um, there's Beautiful. a song, that, one of my biggest songs uh, right now is a song called Rejoice. Yes. Um, I've also sung, uh, the, written another song called Uyabu Yum Sindi, the Savior mm-hmm. is Coming mm-hmm. Again. Um, so I've been blessed to actually do do both, where I'm able to write songs which have moved people, which mm-hmm. have you know connected with people. But I've also picked some songs from the hymn book to say, okay, I think this would be relevant, you know, for mm-hmm. for, for, for my audience and stuff like that. Beautiful. Okay, Gebudi, um, just uh, just a last one for me. <laughs> um, as someone that I mentioned about, you are well known. <laughs> Okay, um, and and you know, Josh, we are turned one go mama. I didn't think you'll go there. We see you at the AWMs, there. and you know, mothers, uh, you know, you know, they give you such love, you know, and mm, um, mm. such adoration. Yeah. How how do you how do you react to that? You know, to receiving, you know, that kind of reaction from people that could lead you to self glorification. I have a mother. Mm-hmm. Um, who allowed me to to attend church when she was not attending church? Hey. That was back in, mm. in the nineties. And and my understanding and my appreciation of of women is around that 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 I had a mother who showed me love, who allowed me to to dream, gave mm-hmm. me space to pursue what I needed to pursue, mm-hmm. and supported me. And and she would show up at my concerts and stuff like that. So whenever I go to women's ministry programs, I'm motivated by that response. Beautiful. Where you're embraced, where, where people are willing to buy your music, where, where mm-hmm. people are willing to go home and tell stories about who Joshua was at the event. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it is so encouraging. And I think it's the kind of love that every young person needs. 
mm. you know mm. the 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 idea that people can make it on their own hey. is is for me that whole notion is problematic mm. you, Exactly. You know, you, you gotta be propelled by somebody. Mm. So if tomorrow my music blows up in a big way and I'm a national star or an international star, it will be because of the women who believed in what hey, I was beautiful. doing and they were genuinely moved by the mm. music and 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 they couldn't help it but express it to me and say, listen, we love your music, continue doing what you do. Lovely. And 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 some of the things that they've said to me is that we are praying for you, my young, uh, Beautiful. young, you know, Beautiful. young mm. men. And and that is very important, you know, mm. because because as a young man, sometimes you, you go through life and you face a lot of challenges. If if there's nobody praying for you, hey. then you're bound to fail. Hey, you, you remind know? me of that song that says... <laughs> I need the prayers of those I love. Exactly. Because exactly. they're the ones that keep you going. Yeah. yeah beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks what a, <laughs> a wonderful moment. Josh, thank you so much. And may God continue to bless your ministry. And may God continue to be with you. And stay humble. Stay humble. Thanks a lot. To our viewers at home, if you have not heard of Josh, if you have not listened to his music or been to his concerts, I encourage you to do go, do buy his albums. He's now on his fourth album and it is called 96. You will be thoroughly blessed. Well, coming up right next is Josh with a beautiful song and stay blessed. Give thanks to the Lord for his good peace and love forever for he knows everything that exists in this world That's why I say, O oh Lord Again, O oh Lord Be magnified forever and ever Give thanks to the Lord For His good peace and love forever For He knows everything That exists in this world That's why I say, O oh Lord Another for joy, peace, and love is a gift from above. That's why I say, O oh Lord, Lord, again, O oh Lord, be magnified forever and ever. As a family, we got to learn to love one another for joy. why I say, O oh Lord, Lord, again, O oh Lord, be magnified forever and ever. Magnified 
forever and ever. Sabelela. Yo sin di son, yo sin
Simon wants us to go again in Kubo, and that is Masim Dumisa Gospel Show right here on Life Destiny TV. Your life, your destiny. So what's going to happen right now is that we're going to move to our poetry session where we'll be blessed with some words of wisdom and inspiration. But before we get there, I guess it's a good time to talk to Kuzai And before we can get into the amazing poetry session, we have what we call the Gig Guide because we love you so much to so ensure that you are at all the great programs and events that can uplift your spirits and your soul and just get you closer yes. and closer to God. Yes. So keep your eyes glued onto the screen to know what is happening near you. In the beginning was the word. He said, let us make man in our image. God wrote a masterpiece. Every stanza was perfectly knit into a sonnet that depicted his love. I was written to declare his glory, but when I sinned, I was degraded to an elegy of futility. And by the adversary, I was taken into captivity. No longer did my life offer tribute to his majesty. I ceased to be a metaphor of his image, void and formless, lifeless, Draped in immortality, bound by futility, no more can ye, except ye abide in me, says he. Walking dead, groping in the darkness with no purpose for existence, for in him we live and move and have our being. As the spirit begins to hover, the fetters of futility fall apart and the darkness prepares to dissipate. Let there be. My soul cleaveth unto the dust, O Lord, quicken me according to thy word. Let there be be light, lead and lucidate, illuminate my path, for your word has never led me astray. In the beginning was the word, timeless, immutable, before Abraham was, he is. So the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, brought hope to the hopeless, brought life to the lifeless, freed the captives, recreated this desolate ruin. What a powerful show. And I truly hope that you were blessed the way that we have been blessed. Dima, oh, you've been blessed. Lalela, I was thoroughly blessed. I get you. I get you so much. Uh, Thank you so much to the two gentlemen who shared their journeys, but also their ministry. Yes. Mfundo, Joshua, Sanbonga, guys. Thank you so much. And may God continue to bless you. And of course, to you, our viewers at home, you guys have been loyal. You've been with us. But also, I just want to say that I hope the Lord may continue to bless each and every single one of you. We love you all so much. Well, Lundu, it was indeed a wonderful evening. We enjoyed ourselves. But anyway, we just want to say to you, indeed, we had a great time with you and we had a splendid time. And we're asking you to continue to chat with us on our social media platforms. Tell us what you think of us. Tell me, where exactly should I belong or should I just stick to the preaching and the presenting? But <laughs> for me, it was a pleasure. Have a wonderful and beautiful evening. Good night. Good evening. Shine.
let it under the bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under the bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine This the light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This the light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This the light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Mom